Here's my raspberry patch. It's inside the chicken run. It's looking a bit sad and sorry for itself, hardly surprising, seeing as it's uh, the middle of winter. So I'm going to start pruning it back today. I was given these raspberries for free. A couple had bought a place. There were lots of raspberry plants. They didn't want them. They were digging them up. They had no idea what variety they were. So into the ground they went, not knowing what sort they were. It turns out that these are, well at least some of them, are dual croppers. Then that told me how to prune them. This particular plant fruited last autumn. It didn't give anything in summer. I don't know if that's because the canes were too young still, being their first year in the ground. When raspberries fruit in autumn as well as summer, these are the ones you prune right down to the ground in winter time. So these are all the same plant. I'm just going to cut the whole thing back. There are a couple of uh, growth buds here and here. I'll go above those. I'm not 100% sure whether I should or not, but I'll do that. It's not likely to hurt. If it did hurt, it would be because frost got on it and burnt it. But I can see new growth coming out of the ground now. I reckon that will be next year's canes. There's another one there. Oh, that second turn is nearly quite, not quite long enough for the job. There's another one coming out of the ground and another one here. They do walk raspberries. And there's another one. So you can see the tiny little green shoots coming out. Right there, there's another one coming out of the base, another one over the back. The dogs like to help. This is Cobber's idea of helping, which I don't mind at all. He's digging in a rat hole. This is the chicken yard, after all. And the, we do have problems with rodents. So the dogs help to keep them in check. Cobber's much more enthusiastic about the whole affair than Biggie is. She's happy to just stand there and watch. If a rat ran out, I reckon she'd have a chase of it. So the job's done. We didn't do all of them. Only the ones that I knew flowered and fruited um, in the autumn this year. To stop the chickens from scratching around them, we put physical barriers in their path. We use all sorts of things, fine weld mesh, and bits off the barbecue, whatever. The chickens love it when we spread more hay into their run. They know it's always good. It's full of goat manure, being stable hay. And there's all good things in it. And there's Cobber, waiting patiently for me to finish. While we were here, we scraped off the top layer of mulch and into the soil underneath, which was actually topsoil from the house build. So it's absolutely beautiful, chock full of worms. I hadn't been throwing any kitchen waste or anything in here for um, some weeks so it was all good rotted down stuff. Now we'll start throwing the fresh produce in here again. We'll leave the rest of this lot for the chickens to go through as they please. The wind has really picked up as you would hear. The rain's coming in, the yellowtail black cockatoos have already been over. That's a sure sign of rain in the highlands. It will get to us this afternoon. <laughs>